The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Shelly and I were talking during the break about 18 veterans a day. I saw the federal study last week committing suicide. Those that don't commit suicide. See, in World War II, they knew. In World War I, they knew. If you spent a year or 11 and a half months on average in a tour, uh, you would have about half the people have problems for the rest of their life, major mental problems. Because as tough as you are, really stressful, traumatic things, or even just a lot of hard work and working 18 hours a day, which happens in combat, it changes you for the rest of your life. You're either a workaholic, either you keep having that, you know, getting yourself to work that hard, uh, or uh, you just basically fall apart. And, and there, you know, there's some ways to try to work on it. Well, now they have them stay. Some of them are starting their fifth tour in Iraq. I mean, they know. these men. They, they, no one has ever. Korea, World War II, Vietnam. I mean, catch-22, you had to fly 22 missions, and you still had more than a 60% chance of dying on your B-17s going into Germany. They could only do 22 missions. Okay, and it's called catch-22 because, yeah, only 22 missions, but you're probably going to die anyways. Uh, you know, that is the the situation and you know, and I never knew. I never even knew that my dad's dad was a B-17 gunner until he died. And then they years later dug open his almanacs with him in the plane and photos and letters and you know all the, his buddies and them getting shot up by the Germans. And, you know, the family didn't even he wouldn't even talk about it. And that was just 22 missions over Germany. Uh, so, so my point is, is that now they're coming home to be cops, and they're just their minds are completely fried. Uh, Shelly, I mean, what would you have been like if you would have served five tours in Vietnam? Vietnam. Well, that 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 would that's really horrible uh, to do that, and yet the the army still uh, saying that it's okay that they'll they'll be okay, and um, of course it's not. And the majority of the veterans that come back want to go into law enforcement because they're still looking for that bullet with their name on it. I did it. I got out of Vietnam, went to school right away, became a became a uh, a police officer, detective sergeant, and then worked for the DEA for 12 years. And basically, that's that's what uh, we normally do. These ATF agents that arrested me, they're all veterans. Uh, one of them looks like he's really PTSD after serving 10 years in 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 uh, the war or in the military. Um, in the United States Army for 10 years. And, uh, you know, you could tell it. You can see it in his eyes, you know, what what the problem is. And, you know, a lot of us are talking about the Iraqi veterans, but the, the bottom line is... What do their eyes look like? Describe that and then get back into that. They're, they're, the eyes are deep. They're a thousand-mile uh, eyes, they call them. Uh, you know, it's a big, you know, the guy is just really deep uh, looking at you, whether he's listening to you or not listening to you. He's just... You know, a, a, a glaze in the eye that can tell tells you right off the bat. And you know what? There were four suicides in Dallas. Uh, 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 eighteen a day. You were gonna make a point. Yeah, eighteen a day. And there were four this year in Dallas uh, at the VA clinic or uh, psychiatric ward in Dallas. So they had to close it down last week. Well, guess what? Three of the four were Vietnam vets. They hung themselves. Fifty-eight years old, and one was fifty. Uh, seven, I think. Uh, one of them found him, and then he later went up there, uh, rented a garage, put his truck back in there, closed the door, and committed suicide. So we. Why? Veterans, I mean, you've got it. Why? Why? Why does it drive him to do? Well, because it, it's uh, you know it's just the older you get, the worse the PTSD gets on you. You know. Uh, you want to fight everybody. Everybody's against you emotionally. You're on medication. Uh, you, you can't sleep at night. I yeah. When ATF went into my house, I had guns in the doors of my house. I, I sleep with my door open uh, because I want to. I want to see who's coming in. Um, you know, you can't hold a job. Uh, you're married two, three times. Uh, you know, and it's the the, the signs are there. And uh, uh, you know, we're talking about those guys doing three tours, four tours. Well, you know what? I did six straight years in Central America training that squads. Now tell me if that does not affect me. Of course it does. And then I come home and you know I, I was I was talking to a group of veterans uh, just last week and he said you know I feel so bad so guilty because I got divorced and I wasn't there for my kids and he said you know what don't feel bad. It's worse if you're there with the family and you take it out on them. And I have never ever looked at that before. And, and, you know, I apologize every time. I talk to my kids 
three, four times a day. I talk to them because I want to tell them that I love them and I care about them. Uh, I mean, if I ever leave this world, I want to make sure that they know that. And and it's devastating for them right now because I've always been there for them. That I'm not going to be there the next ten years because I'm going to be in prison because of because of what I believe in in, in doing. And and because uh, the Second Amendment has to die. Exactly. So you know that's basically what it is. And you know we're we're suffering. And what is your lawyer saying? What is the battle plan? How do we help you, Sally? I mean, you said my listener sent you around a thousand bucks that paid for half the lawyer just in last week's court. Exactly. You know he's asking for fifteen thousand, and I I ended up with about a thousand dollars, and I had to pay him that thousand dollars to. Uh, to to file the motion to uh, uh, not to show up for that hearing and uh, you know I still need a lot of help I know a lot of you econom economic wise it's, it's very hard on everybody the gasoline and so forth but if you please send whatever I had a lady send me seven dollars I had a young kid from high school send me five dollars you know that is great because you know people are getting educated people are learning and the more you send the better and prayers I got over. 50 letters, 50 prayers from people. As a matter of fact, I got a lady, I have no idea who she is, but she sent me this on the mail. And that's for me to wear. And you know, it's a coupler. And it, it, it is it is very important um, to, the, um, to those people that have actually sent me this, uh, prayers. I mean, I'm in their prayers every night. And people, you know, just um, become believers and, you know, in God Almighty, that he's, He'll be there for us, and I certainly hope. And if He doesn't, then that, that there's a reason for it, and and I just hope that uh, everything turns out fine with me. Well, this is a really touching story, Sally. It's got tears in my eyes, and I want to talk about that because a lot of these guys that work for the evil, they the, they're like caught up in a rat race. They're all stressed out. They're crazy. They believe the propaganda. It's about us against them. How do they do the evil? I've seen cops frame people all the time, and all these squad car videos are coming out now because people are putting hidden cameras in their, in their cars because they're so cheap. Where the cop pulls a young guy over, and the kid's nice, and the cop starts screaming at him and says, I'll set you up. I'll win. I'll show you I'm the winner. You know, I'll show you who wins. And, 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 and I mean, you know, people. T how does cops take people's kids for CPS with no warrants, no abuse, no due pro? How do they take old ladies' money and asset forfeiture seizure? I mean, you know, I know some of them are just evil, but a lot of them they're like robots. Are they well, well, basically, what it is is this people here, this this agents that uh, it's a new generation now. Before you used to have a little respect for the for the for the public, and now what it is is that they they think they're above the law, and a lot of times they are above the law, and basically. They like to cut corners to make cases, and uh, that's how they get promoted. The more cases you, you build, the more people you arrest, the more gr drugs you seize or guns you seize, that's how you get promoted. And, and so forth, and that's what they're looking for. They, and it's better to go after good citizens because they don't tend to fight back as much. Exactly. And, you know, they, 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 they prey on the weak. Uh, you know, uh, why... You know the cartels. You know what I asked the ATF agent that uh, one of the guys that uh, that searched. Uh, the, I saw him at the gun show. I told him. I says, why don't you guys go after the American M16s that are being sold to the cartels in Mexico? You know what he said to me. He said, well, you know what? That's our government selling it to to other third world governments, and those third world governments will sell them to the cartels. Well, I was about to say, and that's who's shooting at the border patrol and the FBI and exactly. sheriff's deputies. But expanding on that. Uh, Bush wants to send 147 billion to the Mexican government to quote fight terror and drugs. That's to consolidate the drug dealing, isn't it? Exactly. It's it's all profits to to uh, you know. The war on drug has never worked. Enforcement has never worked. Well, it's worked to make more drugs. Though. Well, yeah, it is, and that's. But money. I mean, but I mean, not work the way they say. They're supposed to work, and yet uh, Congress keeps funneling millions of dollars into the drug war, and we got more drugs today than we did 10, 15 years ago. 